How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, I almost forgot. It's about 8.30 at night right now, and there's a big storm coming through, they say. It's probably all hyped up, and it's going to be nothing, but there's a big storm to coming. So I wanted to get the generator up to par because I got bad gas in her, and she's not running too good. I was out there, and it's draining into a bucket right now. The old gas is taking forever, but I remembered the pole start ain't working right either. So we're going to take a walk out there together, and we're going to see if we can't figure out what the hell is really going on. Hopefully you can see everything I can see. I doubt it, but I got you aimed down, so I'm hoping you'll be mint. But anyways, it's raining right now, and it's supposed to change to snow and ice up. We better make sure the generator is running, because if she goes down, I just basically gotta run the fan on the fireplace, and I got wood to burn, so holy, there's a lot of fuel there, Jim. Oh, she's getting there. We're almost done there. So once that's done pouring out, I got two new cherry cans here full of fuel. And I'm out here running lights off the off-grid system, as you can see. Out in there doesn't look too healthy, but it's working. So I guess I don't need that on. Oh, how you doing? Brought to you by Snap-on. So we're just going to wait for this generator to finish draining the old fuel out of her. And then we're going to pull off the pole start and see if we can't uh, tune her up a little bit. Because like I said, it, it's not working too good. That pole start's dicked. I'm pretty sure you need a new one. I think I pulled her off once before and she needed a new one. Holy cow, you can hear the food land from here. Holy, how's it looking there? Can you see? Not too bad, it's getting there. Holy man, it's still got a pile of fuel in there. Oh, this is gonna take forever to drain. 10 hours later, I know a lot of these were saying it's only a champion, but let me tell you what, that champion I got off Marketplace, it was, $150 I paid for that on Marketplace 17 fucking years ago. Well, it feels like it. I think it's more like 10 years ago. A long time ago. And it's still running great. Knock on wood. Sure, it's not the quietest one. Sure, it's not the biggest one. Sure, it's not this, that, and the other fucking thing. But hey, it works. Leave a comment down below if you have a generator like that too. That just works. Why replace something that works? That's what I say. It's not worth it. Don't do it. But while we're waiting for the gas to drain out here, I might as well clean her off a little bit. You know, keep the dirt out of the old fuel system here. Yeah, the reason why I knew this thing needed new fuel is because last time I used it there a couple weeks ago, we lost the hydro for a bit, and I had a fuck of a time getting this thing started. I'm trying to start on bad fuel. And believe it or not, it did start on bad fuel, and it actually fucking ran too. But it only could run at half choke, which is really not good because then you just basically fill the oil up with fuel and it doesn't have full beans so if you get a big load on her she probably just puke oh you know what else is puking that head gasket oh dick i don't know if you can see that or not looks like she's leaking around the head gasket a little bit we're losing some oil we better check the oil too oh yeah they're loose that might fix her we'll find out let's dry that off and we'll watch it and if we see any more oil coming out of her we'll have to fix that asa fucking p Let's get the raw fuel out of the carb too. We'll drain the shit fuel out of the carburetor. That way we'll fire this thing up with brand new fuel. She'll be mint. Oh yeah, we did. Get out of there, Mr. Varnish. Trippy -de trip trippy. Let me know if you're thinking about tuning up your generator. It's probably a good idea if you haven't done it in a few years to check her over a little bit. Maybe drain the fuel out and put some new fuel in her. One thing I am gonna do though, I'm gonna drill a bong in the bottom of this that flows a little bit better than that because that's just fucking forever. And then some. Are we there yet? Probably not. Can't see. Oh. Oh, we're close, boys. Girls, peoples. She's almost there. She is. Should probably check the top bolts on that thing, too. Oh, yeah, they were loose, too. There you go. Joe, how we doing? Oh, she's coming down to a trickle now. We're getting close. Okay, we pretty much got her empty. So now what I'm going to do is just put the fuel line back on, like so. Come on. Like so. Hopefully that doesn't leak now. And then we're going to pull this off and have a gander at her. Hopefully you can freaking see what I'm doing. I know I'm going to say that a lot, but I mean it. I'm really hoping you can see what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I have a broken spring on one of these returns. And I don't know if this one's got a toggle in it where I can just wrap the rope around it and pull on it. So we'll take it apart again and have a gander. Because that's as far as the rope wants to go back in now. He's been acting up a little bit more than normal. Okay, it does have a hook in there. That's to wrap a rope around it and pull it manually. But let's see what's going on here. Oh well, yeah, you see that's very weak. What is really going on? I know what's going on. The damn rope's too long. 
Too long or too big, the rope. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Get too much rope on there, Captain. I still want to check that out, though. That doesn't seem right. I guarantee you don't have the right size. Of course, I fucking don't. Oh, God. I'm trying those no dural batteries out right now, so we're going to see if this thing dies halfway through a video. If it does, that's going to tell me a lot. It's going to tell me the dural batteries suck dicks. Big ones. How do you like my Christmas lights? Hey, eh? I got them all over the place this year. Merry Christmas, by the way. Because this video will be out just around Christmas time. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh, I got the right one, good. Okay, let's pull this off and we'll have a look at her and see what's going on. Hopefully we don't uh, lose something here. Okay, that one's springy. Well, they're both springy. They're just wore out. Yeah, this thing's wore out. It is what it is. Let's tighten her down some more. That's about all we can do. Maybe we'll have to put another washer on her. Yeah, we're gonna need another washer. You know what that means? I need to go up to the garage again. I love walking back and forward. How about you? Do you like walking back and forward with me? Gonna have to look into a new recoil for the old Jenner McGrader. Hey, look, I got washers everywhere. What a mess, eh? I gotta clean up again. This is ridiculous. Let me know if you see one that will fit. There it is right there. Thanks for telling me, that's perfect. Good job, guys. I knew you guys would help me. We'll slap this back in with another washer on her and see if we get a little bit more tightening in it. Should, should help a little bit, I would think. Oh yeah, that's beauty. The only problem is that thing sticks out. All right, let's see what happens. Now we'll get out a little bit of rope here. You know the problem is this is too much rope or too big of a rope. How am I gonna do that? Frig. Let's untie this sucker. See if we can't get another turn out of the spring on her. Oops. Now we did it. Okay, so now what we need to do, now to get another tightened spring on her, what you do is you take your rope and you bring her all the way around again. Maybe if she'll go. I don't think she's gonna. Yeah, I got too big of a rope. No, well, we need a smaller rope, Captain. Bottom line. I don't know if I'm gonna make her. Oh, there's one more. Hold on. Oh yeah. Eh. I can see what's gonna happen though. This is gonna end up being too tight of a spring. And then she's just gonna bust at the seams. Get in there. Go to your home, would you? Oh, the rope's just flying apart. Something's happening. Hold on to her. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ow. Okay, so now we should be able to put this back together. Hopefully. Normally, you take a lighter and burn the edge of this, but I got gas everywhere around here. So I don't really want to light a lighter. So we're just going to do this the old way and just keep feeding her. She's bound to go sooner or later. But yes. If you want to do this easy, just take a lighter, light the edge of the rope, and Bob's your uncle. But see, if you just have patience, there she goes. So we're going to bring this in quite a bit further this time. We'll go to about here. Oh, fuck, you know what I forgot to do? Meatball. Put it through the fucking handle first. Now I got to do it all over again. And I'll tell you what, it ain't going to go through there, is it? There, I licked it. Oh, let's put some saliva on it. Oh, yeah. I just junkied the hell out of this thing. She's wetter than, you know, she's wet. There we go. We did it. So if you don't have a lighter, just wet it. Why wouldn't you? Tie a knot in her. Like that. We'll cut her off again. Like that. We'll stick that in there. And we'll stick that in there. And Bob, your uncle, let's slap her back on and see what, what. See what, what. If you know what I'm saying. Careful. There's one. One, two, three. So we're done that. Let's put some gas in her. We'll see if she fires. And I got some brand new gas right here. And we're using high tests, which you're supposed to use in all small engines. A lot of us don't anymore because we can't really afford it. It should take almost this whole thing. Careful. When I fill this generator up, she goes for about 24 hours on a tank. So it actually works pretty good. And that's running the AC unit in the trailer that's working pretty good all right there we go so we got fresh fuel in her we'll put the lid on her turn on the old fuel aruski we'll check for leaks we'll choke the shit out of her no leaks not seeing any it's a good sign we'll turn on the power for the generator and we'll give her a couple yanks oh see oh yeah for fuck's sakes I need a new pole start, boys.
Oh, it's not warm yet. Hold on. You shouldn't do this on run. There she goes. Come on, baby. Smooth out for me. Not sure why he's doing that. Half choke. It should be running smooth up. It must be dirty. She wants to be half choked for some reason. Pull the filter off, see what it does. All right, well, I'm gonna have to work on that carburetor. It's hard on the appliances when it does that. You don't wanna fluctuate the, the, uh, the hydro like that. You want to run smooth. You want to run like that all the time, right there. Not like that. I thought for sure that was a, just a fuel problem. Thought it had bad fuel in her, but obviously there's something else going on there. You know, but at least I can smooth her out. So that's good. Right on. Okay. We did it. Well, at least it's running. Carburetor issue, we can take care of later, but we got nice new fuel in her and it's running. So if you have any power outages, we're gonna be good to go. So that's about it for this video. Just wanted to show you what I'm doing on a Thursday night before a storm. It's starting to get cold, you can see my breath. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe and like, hit the notification. I'm glad you're all here, love you all. And we'll see you on the next one.